Hello, wow, YouTube, and ho ho ho! It is Christmas time, and I am Domino. Welcome to episode 55 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on, I believe it's Route 18. Uh, let me check real quick. I was wondering earlier. It is Route. Oh! It is Pony Wilds. I am smarter than that. Anyway, we took on Pony Wilds. There was a kahuna of Pony Wilds there that we wound up taking on. If you do want to check out all of those battles, make sure you click the i-card up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we've been tasked with going to um, the Ruins of Hope, I believe they're called, where Tapu Fini is said to be. So if you're excited for today's episode and you're excited to be part of the domination of the Pokemon community, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, because that's the only way that we're going to be able to do it. Uh, but we can go ahead and start off with a quick team recap. We did a bigger team recap in the last episode, but we have Jet the Umbreon, Buttons the Decidueye, um, Arukenimon the Araquanid, Negative Vibes the Snorlax, Frisco the Oracorio, and Brock the Alolan Golem. Now, Brock kind of carried the... Um, Brock did a lot in the last episode. Brock did a lot in the last episode. But we're still giving Snorlax his farewell tour. And I knew I had seen that a long time ago. So I had to come here. First of all. What's this way? Oh my gosh, we're at 89. We are at 89. This is not a drill. <clears throat> I will enter the house from here. We are at 90. Queen! Monday, I was looking at you intently. Oh, you're the one who found the photo at Mally Library, right? One of the staff there let me know about it and about you finding it. You see, Mudsdale? That's the two of us in the photo back when I was young. You okay there, Mudsdale? Oh, this brings back memories. It's gonna flash back to something? Is it movie time? Also, can I fix the lighting in here? Or do I just have to suck it up? Hold on. Hold on. I just have to suck it up. That sucks. Mudsdale, calm down! It must be so frustrating to keep losing. I know it makes you furious, but don't worry. I'll always be with you, okay? We'll always be together. Let's train hard and do our best to beat the young Kahuna's grand trial. Okay. Mudsdale and I have been together since then, and before I knew it, Hapu came along as well. Although it seems Hapu has made other friends friends other than Mudsdale too. I am very grateful for that. This heart scale is a symbol of my thanks. Give me this! 90! Alright, 10 more. 10 more is all we need. He said lies. Why did he say lies? Kill me! Yes! So we know that we have like a Pokemon Center here, a Pokemon Center type thing here. Alright, what are these? Wait. Surfing for love. See the Mantine surfing so gracefully, and yet the wave of all shallows all. What? And yet the wave of love shall shall will. See the Mantine surfing so gracefully, and yet the wave of love swallows all. Watch, my love, as I perform move after move, for all I wish is to grab your attention. With a splash I fall, and I must ask why. My chest is so tight as if I am drowning. It seems love has no air, much like the sea, and I find myself sinking deeper and deeper. Uh, old and well thumb magazine called Guide to a Lowland Cuisine. Pokemon Psychology Ecology Quiz. You're starving, but you have absolutely no food. Then a slowpoke comes along and offers you its tail. What do you do? There have been stories like this that I have missed all over the game. It really frustrates me. Chomp it into chomp into it raw. At least cook it, make it into jerky. I'd never eat it. Jerky is the way. Choose make it into jerky. That means you're really adaptable and you're good at making the best of any situation. You have lofty ideals, and you're not afraid to work hard to make them real. It must be difficult sometimes, but your hard work will be worth it in the end. But don't get too carried away, or you could make some big mistakes. Your lucky item is a pair of swanky sunglasses. 
you say the word swanky? 91! Oh my goodness, it's getting so close! Uh... Wait, uh, I just don't know. I'm gonna have to, after this episode, I'm gonna have to check some things. Anyway, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's just exit this. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it, I said. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, my, er, uh, you're not Mudsdale. There's another one! 92! You know what's funny is I'm not going to be the first person that uploads a Let's Play where all 100 are done because some people are a few episodes ahead of me. Oh no, I can't run away from Pelipper. Okay, we're back. Helper. All of that for an adrenaline orb. I should have known. No. Please. Not another Pelipper. Please. I was not expecting a Gastrodon to pop up. I don't know why. I think I was so expecting it to be a Pelipper that I wasn't expecting it to be a Gastrodon. an item that way it's like if I'm using oh gosh hold on hold on lady oh that's a good move move to be replaced. How about Bubble Beam? Finally, we have something strong. Bubble Beam's been great for us, don't get me wrong, but Scald is like the second strongest move that I would want to have in that spot. I was trying to be so positive about potentially not running into a Pokemon, and instead it's a Pelipper. I'm pretty sure if a shiny Pelipper came up, I would still be mad. I'm pretty sure a shiny Pelipper coming up would not do anything for my heart. It would still make me angry. I'm trying to do a let's play here. All right, hold on. What is, uh... Oh, no, 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 I don't care about that. Stop. Oh. Since when can you surf down here? Why am I on this thing? Give me a sharp beat. Okay, it's a whale. Literally a whale just swam up to me. I'm surfing around on my shark. Wow, Pokemon doesn't make sense. Pokemon doesn't make any kind of sense. Pokemon makes no sense. I talked about this a couple episodes ago. It's the difference between an hour of power versus a typical episode. Because, like, all I'm thinking about is, like, I need to make some type of progress today. I thought I... I thought I heard something when I went over that Stardust.
Okay, that's that. Hey, woman. My Snorlax gonna bop yo. Sand shrew. That's cool. I like that. I think that's so cool. It's like randomly here. I am gonna go ahead and switch into Arukenimon. Why does it show the typings? This is the first time I've fought this Sand shrew. She is not out to play. Jeez. I'm gonna go for Scald. But you're faster than me. I think it's over. Okay. The uh, Hax Goddess herself. Haru Kenimon. <clears throat> uh, regular Persian? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go back to negative vibes so we can gain some... Gain some Lavales. Some Lavales. Some Lavales. Look at that Persian. So ugly. I'm not a fan. I've never really been a fan of Persian. I think I'm more a fan of a Lolan Persian than I might be regular Persian. I'm so excited for Brick Break to do like stab damage soon. <clears throat> and if that's not a big enough hint, then I don't know what is. But... I do not remember what happens inside this cave in the inside the ruins over here. I cannot remember at all. Where am I going? Rotom! Hey! Stop, please. I saw a totem stick. But that's not the way I'm supposed to go. What's the point of this thing? <laughs> My boy got eyes! My boy got eyes on his head! My guy said, Hey, you over there! You want a battle? Dang! Can I get some of them eyes? Dragalgy? Why is this thing in the game? What the heck? A sludge bomb. And you poison me. Ah. Yeah. Oh no, that was a crit. That means I'm not gonna do that much damage next time. That means he's gonna kill me. That literally means he's gonna kill me this time. Watch. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. Okay, never mind. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Good job, Snorlax. Good job, negative vibes. How we do it? Wants to learn belly drop. It's time. I've only used that once or twice over the last however many episodes, and it's come back to bite us every time I've done that. Okay, that's what I was expecting to happen over at the other one. Alright, here we go. Wow, how did I know that was there? I just had a feeling about that spot. Alright, here we go. It's weird running in here. Like I shouldn't be running. This is new. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But if we go in there, maybe Nebi will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. I mean, that sounds promising. That's right, it does, Domino. 
I'm gonna give him my all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. You're gonna have to drop that. You just wait. So just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm gonna be the one who saves you. Come on, Domino. Let's go. But where did Hapu go? Is Hapu not in here? We're gonna break a path. We'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Ah! Lily. I don't think I can do this. It, it's heavier than words can even express. I have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this tech. Yeah, 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 thanks, thanks, thanks. Don't need your tutorial on that. Now, why did you try that? That's what I'm trying to You know, I don't know how I feel about this theme. But I do know that we flexing on these trainers. Flexing on everybody. In Pokemon Switch, can we please go back to a faster version of Strength? I get, I get it, I get it, I get it. The boulder or the the block is huge. Okay, I get it. Okay. I thought you would be. I thought you would be here. What's the first ruins that we've seen? Isn't it? I've read about them, you know. The Lola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. If they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The books say that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why. Even coming here to these ruins haven't invoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu. Yo, she getting, she getting initialized. What's the word I was going to say? She's getting I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. And the Pokemon of Alola. Oh, so you two were watching? I look so cocky. I will end you right now. The Kahunas are chosen by Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island to each, each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Domino? You came to Alola from far off? You must really be something, then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shows. Shows. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honor. The honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back. And we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling alone and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Uh, oh, of, of course. Then please, kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So, you want to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the altar of the moon? I must go after my mother. She disappeared off into some far off world. And a fearsome creature lives in that world, a Pokemon called Necrozma. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where a beast resides, eh? I reckon that must be the kind of world you find at the other end of those holes that open up in the sky, just as my grandfather once described. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A, po a ceremony that uses two peculiar fruits to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the lake on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why there of all places, but it has been passed down 
That, uh, it's been passed down that that's where it belongs. Decator Island, I think I've read about it before. An uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let us go speak with Mina. Billy, you take Musdale. We'll proceed to Seafolk Village. And they leave me. Hey, Beanie! Beanie! Don't tell me I ain't worthy. I'll blow you away right now. I will blow you away right now. Wait, no. Why? Fine here. Charizard, flamethrower! Burn the place up! Oh, it's. It looked like it was standing there waiting for me to push it. I'm stupid. I'm the stoop. I'm the stoop. So, Executor Island, I forgot about this. That's another episode in between now and getting our getting our next Pokemon. Alright, are we healed? We're not healed at all, are we? Are we level 44? I don't remember. But let's leave buttons. I wanna grab this uh Oh my gosh! Anyway, uh, before I was startled by Wimpod, uh, what I was going to say was I want to grab this totem sticker and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna head back over. You have a turn name. Did I put buttons up front? I did, didn't I? Gosh darn it. Okay, who do I... You've never seen a special defense as high as mine. Hacks, Goddess! Nobody dodges moves like Arukeni Manda. Nobody. Nobody. Special defense. Did a little more than I was expecting. Admittedly, I did a little more. Lil Mo again. Watch this. It's gonna be 20. It's gonna be 20. That, got a crit. Alright. When do we learn liquidation? I'm sure it's soon. It kind of has to be soon, doesn't it? Grandpa. I will stay in. Because we've proven to be a freaking dragon slayer. I'm using leech light. Watch this. Watch me eat this up. Watch me eat this up. Special de- Go Brock, hit that rock slide. Yeah! Yeah, Brock! Yeah! Woo. Our team is so good. I hope this team is enjoyable to watch. I know that we have a Raquinade, I know a lot of people have a Raquinade, but. It's just. A Raquinade is so cool, and it's either a Raquinade or Galissapide. Like, it's gonna be either or. Which one do you want in this playthrough? Which one do you want in another playthrough? I mean, they're the most popular bug types. I mean, they're butter, they're bug water. You know? So I chose, I chose Araquanid because I used Glissopod in the first playthrough I did of Sun. Right, I'm not doing, I'm not going that way. 93, there are seven stickers left. That actually makes me feel pretty good. That makes me feel like I'm doing a decent job of collecting them. I don't think I've been missing too many of them, which is good. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Hapu. And thank you, Mudsdale. But that's what friends do. F friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a... a, a friend? A... a, a I'm so glad I got to meet you, Hapu. A journey to Executor Island. You should speak with Mina. 
She can help arrange a boat for you. I shall be wishing for your safety. We done? Are we done here? Are we done here? I have something I wanted to say. I have something I wanted to say. I have something I wanted to say. Apple, go away. I don't want to talk to you. No, stop. Shh. Okay, thank you. So, when we first got to Pony Island just a couple episodes ago, and Lily had that Oh my gosh moment, you know, like in the first game where it was the Seafolk captain. My brain is piecing stuff together. Where the Seafolk captain was standing up on top of there, and then this time it was Mina. That makes me think that it was originally supposed to be Mina, but they didn't get her trial in. I wonder, is Mina the next trial captain? And is her trial Executor Island? And what are we going to have to do on Executor Island? If you want to know these answers, you're going to have to check back in the next episode because obviously we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Today was more action-packed, more story-packed. Um, we did a lot of exploring. We met Hapu's grandparents. I think that was this episode. And then we made it over to the Ruins of Hope where we saw Hapu become Kahuna Hapu. And now we're going to make our way towards Executor Island. So if you enjoyed today's episode and if you're excited to be part of the domination of the Pokemon community, make sure you hit the like button down below and do subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.